great to see you. Yes, well, uh, today is a special, sad, and horrific day in the annals of the, uh, of the free press with, um, uh, with the re-imprisonment of Chelsea Manning, a great American hero. Um, you, know, you know, and what really sickens me is that you had the New York Times and the Washington Post preening about the reports it did based on what they obtained from Manning through WikiLeaks and you know, uh, you know, collecting awards, and they're silent. In fact, at times they've even applauded the jailing of their source. Now, for those who don't know me, I'm Greg Pallast, and I was an investigative reporter for the uh, Guardian newspapers and for BBC Television Newsnight, and as well for a program called Dispatches in England, Channel Four. It's like they're 60 Minutes if you're American to get a concept. And I have to say that I relied on the, on the revelations from Chelsea Manning. In fact, for example, uh, uh, terrible things about our government. You know, uh, yes, uh, I looked at the State Department cables, something that hasn't come out in the US, but was on the front page of The Guardian. Um, in the WikiLeaks cables, we found out that 17 months before the Deepwater Horizon, exploded in the Gulf, blew out in the Gulf. Uh, that was a, a British petroleum operation on a trans-ocean rig. That a British petroleum operation on a trans-ocean rig, same thing, had blown out in the Caspian Sea and it was covered up. It was covered up, it was done, British petroleum covered it up, Exxon was a partner covered it up, Chevron covered it up. They covered it up with the connivance of the US State Department under Condi Rice with the government, with the dictatorship of Azerbaijan. So these oil companies covered up a blowout, which was caused by the use of, a, of what's called quick dry cement. And that was the cement that was used in the Gulf. The Department of Interior tried to stop the, the, uh, the work of the Deepwater Horizon, saying it was an unsafe and untested area. And if they had no knowledge of the blowout 17 months before in the Caspian Sea. 11 men were incinerated because of the lie and the cover up by the US State Department and the oil companies. And we only found out about, I found out about it because I talked to uh, insiders who worked on the rig in the Caspian Sea for BP, but it was confirmed by the, uh, before I even got my report out, it was confirmed by the documents, by the uh, State Department documents released by Chelsea Manning, because we know about the stuff in Iraq, we know about some other things, but this is a story that's never even made it to America. Chelsea Manning, if his information or her information had gotten out earlier, those 11 men would not have died and uh, the, the Gulf Coast of, uh, of uh, the United States would not have been decimated and uh, lives and, uh, and fortune and uh, livelihoods ruined. His actions were absolutely heroic. And I have no doubt that they've already saved lives in other cases. His, this was a life-saving purpose for which he sacrificed enormously. And Barack Obama, shame on him, had him imprisoned, but then realized, you know, that the, you know, uh, caved into the pressure about the injustice. That was caving into pressure, pressure we have to apply again. So all I want to say is that as a newsman, it makes me sick that I use the WikiLeaks as a news source, the New York Times does, the Washington Post does. Where the hell are they on protecting their sources? This is dangerous stuff. I'm telling you right now, don't go to the New York Times if you have a story. Don't go to the Washington Post. Go to gregpalace.com because I would rather go to prison than give up a source. You know, screw those guys. They are literally the American news establishment is a threat to the freedom of the press. What they want is a news monopoly. They don't want a free press. They want the press that they control. And that means keeping Manning locked up. They want to squeeze him like an orange then throw him in the garbage. If they don't get what they want out of him. Yeah, in other words, they want, and then, you know, like, and so, you know, and they're happy to basically turn state's evidence. You know, uh, you know this, is, this is a horrific thing that these guys are doing. Uh, you know, to me, the silence of the media lambs makes me just want to vomit. And uh, I just want to thank, uh, and, I, and I hope the word gets to him, please, if there's any way to let Chelsea Manning know, damn courageous work, and let Assange know that, you know, it, it, people are, are confusing 
uh, how they feel about Julian Assange's personality or what he's personally done or haven't done in treatment of women or not. That, this is not the point. This is about WikiLeaks as a news source. Let's stay with the topic here. You may not like me or my hat or my lack of hair. You may not like how I talk. You may not like anything about me. Read my reports, true or false. I'm a source of news. I, when I, and so my report, which went out on the Deepwater Horizon, and, and the fact that, that 11 men were incinerated, that could have been prevented if we simply had Chelsea Manning's information even earlier. His material is life-saving and a, a tremendous news source, which could have only come to us via WikiLeaks. And so I have to thank my sources. And for those who remain unnamed, I'll keep them unnamed. And unlike the Times and the Post, I will not give you up or applaud when you go to jail. I love the, uh, 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 you know, when uh, Christoph, who used uh, Manning's material, said um, uh, that the sentence for Manning was too harsh. Too harsh? Since when do you, when do you uh, applaud your sources going to prison for giving you a story? You know, there's language I would like to use, but I'd like to repeat this story on, on, other, uh, on other channels. <laughs> but you have no idea how angry this makes me. And, um, you know, and I just can't, I was just, frankly, I was just a couple of weeks ago in the New York, the New York Times actually invited me in, believe it or not, to do some work with them. Um, and it just really, I, I'll have to tell you the truth, it, I was ill. I, I, I can't even look at these people. I can't even look at these people, you know. They're, they're not reporters, they're repeaters of the government statements, and that's it. And yeah, they'll, they took a few things from WikiLeaks if they, if they decided it was valuable uh, to go after the, the, uh, you know, the little splits in the elite. They didn't like Bush, they don't like Trump. Uh, but you know, they don't like it if it goes after, God forbid, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who was, you know, what, what you uncovered there in WikiLeaks, by the way, Sorry if I'm in the filibuster here, but I'm really whipped up. <laughs> Wiki, you know, what WikiLeaks undercover, uncovered, people have to understand with the Democratic National Committee documents. Um, this was about a crime. You're not allowed under federal election law to take money for, remember there's limits on how much a person can give to a campaign. There's a $2,000 limit. But there's a, a 200 some thousand, you can put in a quarter million dollars almost into a political party. So to break the law, this is a crime. This is a go to jail crime. Debbie Wasserman Schultz took money and resources that the DNC paid for, but under this high limit and, and effectively shoved it into the Hillary Clinton campaign, which has a low limit and thereby use this as a scam to basically using the DNC as a money laundering operations for illegal contributions to Hillary Clinton. And you believe me, Hillary absolutely knew about it. These people should be in prison. And by the way, just it's not just a minor footnote. Um, Wasserman Schultz has said that Bernie Sanders should not be allowed into the Democratic Party unless he denounces Maduro of Venezuela as a dictator. The guy who's been elected and she says we should we should endorse Juan Guaido because he is supposedly the legitimate president who's never run for anything. These people are allergic to democracy. They are allergic to a free press. And I'm with you, Chelsea Manning. And and I don't know if I'd have the the cojones to do what you're doing. Um, but uh, uh, God bless you from real journalists. Well, thank you, Greg, uh, for that burst of information and insight. And we're not exactly a family program, so you could have gone a little bit off the edge with your language. If you wanted to. I, want to, I want to pass this around to the uh, <laughs> to uh, to all the kindergartens I can. <laughs> we got to get the kids before they're destroyed by no, you're, the. You're uh, absolutely right. By, Thank by you. the processing job done in our schools, you know, they come out going. The truth is the New York Times. The truth is the L.A. Times. You know, so um, I'm just uh, and, and therefore I, I just want to thank. And I've never been able to give much of a chance to thank uh, WikiLeaks and thank um, Chelsea Manning for the tremendous work and the information I've used again and again. Those files are just, people really should read that because it's really about what your government and what your elite's doing to you. They don't want you to see this. And you're absolutely right. You know, damn it. I mean, I, you, know, you don't look at, yeah, every source, every source has a reason to turn over information the question is is it true even your mother when she says so how are you doing what she means is so are you looking for a job uh, you know you know there's always everyone has an ulterior motive including mom 
But that's not the point. We all have used whistleblowers who have an ulterior motive. Uh, sometimes we have to disclose it. But we have the, the most important thing is this is how we get the truth out. And what hurt them was not WikiLeaks. What hurt these guys was the truth. I can't think of a better way to end this program uh, except to say, uh, please, all of you out there who have stories, go to Greg Palace and give him that story. But there's also competition, WikiLeaks.org. They will publish and protect their sources as well. Yes. Greg, thank you so much for coming on. You said more in 10 minutes than I think we said in the previous two and a half hours. Um, <laughs> so I hope you can come back again. For you. So I just said. <laughs> I, I need something that's a little bit of an easy bite for the uh, for the American audience.